Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but look, we've got blue sky. I've got an essential journey to run. I've only got about 20 minutes of GoPro battery, so it's gonna be short, but that should stop me chatting as much crap as usual, shouldn't it, really? So I've got, oh, I've got a fuel light on. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, where's the petrol station? Oh, I've got to turn around, bugger. Calamity averted, I've just done some brain maths and I know where to get petrol on the way. To where I'm going, because, yeah, this is, an actual, <laughs> this is an actual essential journey, not an essential journey, because I've been a bit quiet lately, because while I was filming the last video on this channel, my review of the Ducati Multistrada V4, my girlfriend phoned me and said, um, yeah, I've been told I've got to go to hospital because I am having a baby. It's not down there, whoops. So I uh, V-maxed the Multistrada V4 <laughs> and I got home super quick and we went to hospital and a day later had a baby. My second, so yeah, I've got I've got two girls now. I'm fully outnumbered in my house. And that's why I've been a bit quiet lately, but I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to get out on the bike because well, it's dry, it's warming up, it's 13 degrees, the sky is blue, and I've got a Hyper Motard 950 SP outside my house, and I'm bored of driving in the car, as fun as it is listening to Al Murray and James Holland do that excellent We Have Ways of Making You Talk podcast, which is all about World War II. If you've got half an interest in World War II, do check it out. I wasn't really into podcasts until I discovered this, but now I am. So yeah, um, baby came <laughs> about a month early, so uh, in and out of hospital having checks and stuff like that. My girlfriend's been staying in there with her. So I'm allowed to go and visit for two hours a day because of these unprecedented times in which we live. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going in for a quick visit and then I've got to get home um, to enjoy my other new arrival which just arrived this afternoon uh, love of my life most beautiful cherished thing i own a sony playstation 5 yeah <laughs> feels like it's impossible to get hold of one but i happen to be doing a poo one minute after game.co.uk's website refreshed with some stock and i still was in a queue for half an hour but i managed to get ps5 and i've not had a playstation since i was 12 I got one in 1995, my parents bought me and my brother one to stop us squabbling and uh, well we've been saving up for Panasonic 3DO and my dad realised that was a shit thing to do and uh, gave us the extra cash to go and get a Playstation. So yeah, it's just arrived and this isn't going to be a video about Playstation 5s, <laughs> could be, I'm quite excited about it. Um, oh, there's traffic lights. <laughs> I have got an Xbox Series X as well, so I am being Billy two consoles, which is a bit cheeky, but hey. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a bit of an update on the Hyper Motard once I put some fuel in it and we can brag it a bit. Goodness me, I do not need the heated grips, <laughs> or the heating grips, as Ducati calls them. Let's just turn them off. It's 13 degrees. I'm wearing winter gloves, hello, because I can only find one of my summer gloves, and uh, one glove does not make a pair like, does it? So, yeah. I'm wearing jeans, my lovely rocker jeans. It's possibly a little bit too chilly for these, but it's better than wearing. Loads of cordura whilst walking around the hospital later. And uh, I'm testing something out. I've got my Krieger rucksack on my back. I think it's the R30, R25, I can't remember. Basically, because the hospital I'm going to, I don't know, it's a... Uh, I'm not sure it's a Surrey postcode. Yeah, got stuff in my eyes. Yeah, I'm joking, I'm being snobbish, but um, yeah, I don't want my bike to get nicked, so I've got, as well as a disc lock, my mahoosive Almax chain, which weighs 20 kilos on my back. And when I bought this chain, I bought it online. I had it, made the mistake of having it delivered to our office at Drive Tribe, which was then near Liverpool Street in London and I used to get the train out of Waterloo which is the opposite side of London so I had to carry a very small dense 20 kilo object across London at Russia and I don't think my arms have ever hurt <laughs> more than that that was a mistake so anyway there yeah, that's what's on my back hopefully my bike won't get next 
Right, I'm going to stop the chat, go and get some petrol, and I'll see you again on some fun roads. Yeah, fun. Inverted commas. Okie dokie, where were we? I was probably shitting on about uh, bikes, really. So I just had to go and get some fuel. Um, interesting thing, I'm mostly back on my hypermotard. I've had the Ducati Multistrada V4 in, as you might have seen on my channel, did a review of that. Um, and I, I spent a day, actually, a Sunday, with a friend, his photographer. He was helping me with some photos. Photos? And uh, we were basically back to backing them, but not obviously making a comparison, because one's an adventure bike, one's a 14 grand BMX. But getting off 170 horsepower V4, 20 grand adventure bike onto this, this felt just as much fun, if not more fun, really. <laughs> there's, a, there's something about this engine and this 950, which is incredibly aggressive. I don't know if it's the high compression or whatever, but this thing is angry. Like that V4 in the Modstrad has got a mental top end. It lifts the front at the top of second, the top of third. It's a hooligan adventure bike. But this, this didn't feel in any way inferior. Obviously it's not as fast, but it's still very fast. But Multistrad V4 is insane. Um, go and try one out if you haven't, because I think it's going to be a bike of the year for most people. Be interesting to see what people make of it. Compared to the GS, uh, I think it's just faster, smoother. Um, I just, the electronics are just about the same. I like it. But yeah, um, so I'm taking a bit of a break from work at the moment. We've got two, three weeks off for paternity leave, because that's what you get in the UK if your company doesn't want to give you more. Um, but yeah, this will probably be my last bike ride for a while now that I've got DOS children to look after, one of which is very, very small. Take that clutch. But, you know, hopefully I'll still be able to get out on bikes and do videos and stuff. Um, I've got the Ducati Street Fighter V4 coming in a couple of months, because uh, I've just not ridden one. And I said to Ducati, I've not ridden one, can I borrow one? They said yes, which is nice. I just got hit in the crotch by uh, wood chipping, which is good. I've got wood in my wood. Right, I have to remember where I'm going, so I'm taking a very, very roundabout route to this hospital. Um, uh, have I missed my turning? I think I have. <laughs> oh, this bike is so silly. Yes, I've missed my turning. I'm now in the land of uh, Porsche Cayenne's parked on driveways, which isn't exactly where I want to be. I'll turn around at some point. But yeah, it's just nice to be on a bike in the sun. It's so good for the soul, even if you're just pottering around like I am today in 40 limits and whatnot. There's daffodils at the side of the road. There's Fiat 500s in the middle of the road. So it's a glorious time. But yeah, I want, to, I want to know what you guys have been up to. Have you been out for a ride yet? Because I was out when it was one degree, zero degrees, and it wasn't that bad. So long as you wrapped up and, you know, had heated grips, it was actually absolutely fine. There's a lot of shit on the road still. Okie dokie, right, I'm just going to turn around because I have gone the wrong way. I said I wasn't going to waffle, I said this is going to be an abrupt video. It might be abrupt, but uh, it's still full of waffle. Alright. Oh, this bike doesn't have as much steering lock. I've got used to that Multistrada, which is like a London taxi. Oh, I want a house like that, with a Porsche outside it. <laughs> ah, yes! The joys of a front-facing GoPro. Or rear-facing GoPro, should I say. I'm still going to be a bit cagey, because these roads are still a wee bit mucky. <laughs> oh dear, I forgot what a dick this bike makes me. Tunnel! I'm glad it's had its running in service. Uh, I should probably talk a little bit about my plans for this bike for the year. Basically ride it as much as I can. Uh, if I do spend any money on it, it will be a case of... Stay there, stay there, thank you. It will be a case of um, decatting it. Uh, Arrow does a decat pipe, which is a couple hundred quid. 
stick that on to get a bit more noise out of it. I might keep the stock end cans. They don't offend me in any way, but there is also the Termioni underseat exhausts, which you can get, which don't change the noise on their own. And they're quite expensive. I think they're about 1100 quid, but they look nice and they're lighter. So I'll be tempted to do both of those. You can get the full Termioni system for this, but I think it's a bit uggers and you lose the rear bits of bodywork. Um, I do like a full system, but I don't know. I like the twin underseat thing. And whenever I've had a bike with twin underseat exhausts, like a speed triple and a street triple, I've always jumped them for a three into one system down one side. And I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to keep the twin underseat exhausts for once in my life. And also, I shouldn't just be going out spending money on motorbikes because, Jesus Christ, responsibilities now. Who says, having just bought PlayStation 5? and some new microphones. Uh, fuck it, let's go. I picked the wrong bit of that junction to turn. Muddy road. Right, we're approaching the bridge of inevitable shit wheelies. And it's quite busy. So I might not do one. Might be socially responsible for once. Obviously I don't do intentional wheelies, it's just accidental ones sometimes get caught out, but Yeah, what's quite interesting is uh, going to hospital in 2021 for the birth of a child. You have to get COVID tested, which is quite nice because it's a free COVID test. And uh, I was negative. And the sad thing is my daughter came out after five days in hospital, um, a week old. And then she had to go back in for a couple of days this week for a couple of checks. And uh, she had to have a COVID test at the age of a week. I kept it down, I was a good boy. Stroke a bit scared. Um, so yeah, <laughs> a one week old having a nose and throat swab probably wasn't very pretty. Quite glad I wasn't there for that. But hey, if it makes sure everyone's safe and not gonna die, that's a good thing in my book. The NHS has been absolutely bloody brilliant, I have to say, the National Health Service. Here in the UK, has been fantastic. When my girlfriend gave birth, she had a private room for six days in a hospital. Um, she was put straight into a delivery room when she got there, was in there 24 hours before giving birth, gave birth and got to stay in that room. Actually no, she didn't have a private room for all that time, but basically a private room, sharing one other person at one point. And I just said to the midwife, if this was America, we would have been bankrupt before her waters broke. So I know health insurance and all that stuff, but yeah. And everyone was so nice. All the midwives, all the nurses, doctors, Everyone has been absolutely bloody wicked uh, bringing a baby into the world that shouldn't have been born for another month. But yeah, actually, yeah, like I was saying, sorry, I went on a massive ramble there. Do let me know if you've had um, any biking experiences this year, if you've been out and about, or have you just been like me, just, just pottering about. I guess we can't really be booking tours yet because we don't know of anywhere in Europe will have us yet. And hopefully people are starting to get vaccinated. I'm too young to have a vaccine yet, unfortunately. Uh, but give it a couple of months and hopefully I will be. And then I'll just be wanting to go to Italy for a week with my new family of four. Anyway, I'm waffling. I didn't mean to make this so boring. Update on Hyde Motard, it's, uh, it's still amazing. I still love it bits. Um, I might just wish it was a bit louder. I might get the suspension set up for my weight at some point. Uh, but these are all minor things. The amount I'm actually riding it, it's kind of spot on at the moment. Oh, grip. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, um, when dealers reopen, do go and have a go on a Hyde Motard, because even if it's not your bag at all, it's a different type of biking. Uh, definitely a slightly angrier type of biking. Makes you ride like a bit of a penis, but they're good fun. Right, I'm definitely lost. I'm going to be late to hospital. My girlfriend's going to be seriously unimpressed. 
as will my two week old child, not even two week old child, uh, she's going to start judging me already. So I'll end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, leave me a nice comment. Wish me well. I wish you well. Hope you're well. <laughs> no, I thought, oh, I can't remember what the thing is. But anyway, <laughs> goodbye. See you next time. Uh, keep doing motorbikes. They're great and good for the soul. Goodbye. J'arrive à l'hôpital dans le hypermodad. Je voudrais un parking de moto dans le sac et avec le cashback. Toyota UK has a Yaris of that generation in that colour and it's only got 30 miles on it or something. It was never driven. Isn't that a fun fact? Isn't that what you subscribe for? Subscribe, like, comment. Let's deploy my massive chain. Ah, I love a bobber. Triumph bobber, such a good bike. Handles much better than you would think. Although it is unbearably uncomfortable for me. At 80 on a motorway, my legs just get split apart like a piece of fresh timber. Alright, see you later.